Hi guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. I'm going to show you a uh, website here tonight that I found while I was browsing around in Google today. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the scroll saw, but they do have a little utility that I think a lot of scroll saw users might find useful. Uh, I happen to be looking for some new fonts, and specifically I was looking for monogram fonts. And uh, that's when I came across this website, and the name of it is markandgram.com. And uh, their business is to sell you products with uh, your monogram uh, initials on it. But they have a little utility called the Monogram Maker. And one of the monograms that it makes, uh, I find pretty cool and uh, would be nice to uh, use to put your monogram or somebody else's monogram on, say, like a scroll saw box or any other type of scroll saw project that you, you know, you might like to personalize. So here it is. It's very simple. Uh, you just have a place down here where you can put your initials. And over here on the right is where you pick the style of monogram that you want to use. And the one that I find useful for our purposes is this one right here. And when you click on that, you can see that it creates this oval or round shaped monogram. And uh, nothing much to it, but it's just a unique font that would look great on the top of a scroll saw box or some other project like that. So the way they do this now is once you put in your initials and you get your... Uh, monogram up there. You hit on save and what they want you to do is to put in your email address and then of course they will email you uh, this monogram uh, as a file for, a file that you could actually download and put into a paint program or whatever program you use. Um, I don't know how they're going to handle your email address. I did go ahead and put uh, one of my email addresses, addresses in here uh, just so I could see what they would send me. Now, I don't know if they're going to use this to try to advertise to you, and I'm sure they are. So if you're uncomfortable with that, you, you might want to pass on this step. Um, and I'll show you a way around that here in a minute if, uh, if that is a problem for you. But anyway, uh, another thing that I always do is I have multiple email addresses, and one of the email addresses I have is just specifically for this type of situation. It's an email address that I don't use for anything important. I just use it for signing up for things that... Uh, that I don't want to get spammed with. Uh, so if you're not doing that, that might be something you want to consider. But anyway, I put my email address in and uh, a few minutes later, I received this email right here from them. And basically it looks like just a copy of what you were just seeing, except for the fact that now uh, this monogram is actually a file. So if you click on it, it'll open it up uh, as a picture file. Uh, what you can do when you get here, if you want to save this, you just right click on it and do save link as, or if you're using Internet Explorer, this menu might look a little different or uh, whatever browser you're using, Chrome. But anyway, you do save as, and that'll bring up your save as dialog, and you can save it as a, uh, a file onto your computer. Then, you, of course, you can load it into any paint program, resize it or whatever, print it out, and then cut it out on your scroll saw. Let me go back to the site here and uh, show you something that uh, might be easier for you. Uh, if you're not comfortable with putting your email address in here. Once you get to this page right here, after you do the save and you get to where you want your email address, if you just right click on this right now, you can do save image as. And again, this will be a little different depending on which browser you're using. Uh, but you can actually save this file right now. Uh, so you don't even have to enter your, your uh, uh, email address if you don't want to. So anyway, um, interesting. Uh, I actually uh, imported the image into CorelDRAW, which is what I use for all my patterns, and I was able to convert it to a vector format so I could resize it, and it worked out really well. So for you CorelDRAW pattern designers out there, uh, that's uh, you know a pretty handy feature for that too. Okay, don't want to keep you all too long. Just wanted to show you this neat little utility that I found, and uh, give it a try and see what you think. I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop, and we'll talk to you next time.